In this question, we are given a linear inequality in set builder notation, and we are asked to graph it and then give the domain and the range. First thing that I'm going to do is I write my inequality with an equal sign, and then I'm going to isolate my y so that I can fill in my table of values. There is no x in this equation, so I know it's going to be a horizontal line. I need to find the y-intercept. Moving the negative 3y to the other side of the equals, I get 3y plus 3y equals negative 6, 6y equals negative 6, and then if I divide both sides by 6, I get y equals negative 1. If y equals negative 1, then the y will be negative 1 all the way up and down my table of values. And I can make up any values I want for x. I'm going to choose 0, 2, and negative 2. Next, I graph these points. 0, negative 1 is here. 2, negative 1 is here. And negative 2, negative 1 is here. It's time for me to draw my line. Before I do that, I check my symbol. And I see it is greater than. It is not greater than or equal to. So I need a dotted line. Now that my line is on my graph, I have to do my shading. For that, I do a test point. And I will test the point 0, 0, because my line does not go through 0, 0. I write my equation with its symbol. And I'm going to replace x and y in the equation with 0 and 0. There are no x's, but there are two y's, and both of them will be replaced with this 0. This cancels, this cancels, and I end up with 0 greater than negative 6. This is true. 0 is greater than negative 6. Therefore, I'm going to shade from the line towards my test point, which in this case means I'm shading up. All that's left to do now is give the domain and range. The domain is all the x values that are used in my answer. And we can see that every x value will be used in the answer for this graph. So the domain is all real numbers. The range is all of the y values that are used in my answer. And the y values that are used in the answer are from negative 1 upwards towards positive infinity, with negative 1 not included. I have graphed my inequality, and I have given the domain and range. 